Hi, this is Ronnie, and welcome to my channel, and welcome to Punched Out Thursday with Kathy, Krista, myself, and Dorothy. And today, instead of doing a layout, I am making a card. And if it looks like I'm talking, I am. <laughs> I did it thinking I wasn't going to have a voiceover, I was going to have real time. But yeah, it was pretty long still, and I punched everything out ahead of time. Well, almost everything. A couple of things I didn't. And I still was 30-some minutes. The first run-through was over two hours, though. <laughs> so I did get better. I used scraps. I just dug in my scrap bin, and what I could find I used. And here, I'm going to put that on there wrong and mess it up right away. So I am going over there, and that's the smallest oval on Creative Memories. And I measured it, and it's two inches. So if you have a two-inch punch, even better. And see there, I am turning it the other way. I don't need a whole one, so I just turned it the other way for that. And I know you're supposed to jiggle. <laughs> That's what they told me at the creative memory parties. You're supposed to jiggle it and to make sure that it is loose and you got everything cut. Well, I didn't. And here I got rusty hinge out. I'm going to ink this with the rusty hinge. And I had planned on using tea dye, but I seen the rusty hinge, and I thought, oh, I've got orange. I always like rusty hinge on that orange. And here I'm showing the punches that I use for those two right there. It's a one-inch punch that's an egg and a one-inch oval punch. Yeah, I have an oval punch. I bought one. I'm going to get one here and there. <laughs> so I have oval punches to use and be correct. Correct and proper for Punched Out Thursday. Uh, I am trimming. Uh, I, uh, I I forgot to trim the mouth. I thought that looks so funny. You know, I was putting the tongue on there and the bottom part of the jaw, and I was thinking, why does this not look right? <laughs> and I forgot a key part, and I folded it in half and just made it come up in the center a little bit so that the tongue would hang out better and you'd see a little more of the tongue. I kept trying to push it down and everything, and then I realized what I was doing wrong. I thought, oh, yeah, I remember I had to cut some of that off to get it to look right last time. And believe me, I tried different sizes and put different ones together. Oh, you would not believe how big the eyes were the first time I did it. They were way too big, so I had to get smaller. And here I'm putting nostrils on, and they're one-fourth inch diameter on the nostrils. And, of course, i got to make pink cheeks. I love to have pink cheeks when I make anything. And I brought my little tray over, and I've got all the pieces in there that I need, plus a few extra. I had my sweater on earlier, but I got a little overheated, and every time I turned around, my sweater was pulling stuff off into the floor, and I thought, boy, I'm warm enough now, I think I can do without it. So I took it off. And I'm making freckles right now. I used the 1 8 inch punch, and I did three freckles for each side. But of course, I did make extra, just in case I dropped any. But yeah, I've got his nostrils done, tongue, jawline, and some freckles. And here I'm gonna work on the eyes. And those are one half inch diameter. And I had to pull out my blue, um, that is the powder ink, as they call it, and it's sky blue. And I just went around the outside of the eyes. I didn't want to do them in the rusty hinge. And so I just added just the vaguest tint of blue. And this is the one fourth inch in brown. And then I, oh, I'm showing that picture. That's what I started to do for today. But I thought I needed to send my niece a get well card. And I make quite a few cards lately and mailed them out. But I didn't record them. And I thought, I'm going to record this one. She likes to get cards. Anybody likes to get cards. I love Happy Mail. And so I wanted to send her one. Oh, I'm showing that half inch. And that's what I cut the eyes with. And I, I showed the pencil mark that uh, marks the halfway on that. And I just did the half on two of them. Well, three, because there is an extra. Uh, and I'm inking it. And those are going to be the eyelids. But 
The pupils are one eighth inch in black, and then the brown is the one quarter inch, and the eye one half inch, including the eyelids. And I'm Oh, I'm just finally realizing I didn't zoom in. I think you can see all right, though, because my screen's pretty small on this laptop. It's up in the right-hand corner, and I could see pretty good, but then I knew what was going on, too. So if I get out of frame on here, sorry. I didn't. I only thought to look, I think, one time the whole time I was making this. And I want his eyes to look sad and like he's maybe a little bit sick. So that's why I went ahead and put the lids on there. Sometimes I don't put lids on there. And I'm kind of put his eyes drooping too. And I made, I cut out some eyelashes for him or her, whatever. Uh, <laughs> whichever one we decide it's going to be in the end. And I forget to put them on until I'm done with it. And... They do make it on there, though. I do get them on there. Here I'm using the pink for the inside of the ears. I did have to trim them down. I punched them out of the leaf punch. And I don't have anything that's smaller that I could punch the inside out with. So I just take and cut ha close to half of it off. And um, lay them on top of each other, too, so they're the same size. I, however, I am going to notice one ear is up a little bit higher than the other ear. But it's glued on there, so I just thought maybe once perked up, he could hear a lion or something out there. So, yeah. Have you all guessed what he is, or have I told accidentally? <laughs> I started to once, but have you all guessed what he is? This part right here might tell you what he is. Um, if you can guess what those are. <laughs> I don't know if you can or not. I used that uh, dragonfly punch to make them, and I just cut the body part of the punch off. And so the wings are laying there to the side. If I had something to use them for, I would, but I don't really. And the flower I, is curls up there in the front for the mane, and here I'm cutting a neck. And I, I'm pretty sure you probably guessed it by now. My little antlers or whatever there are, horns or antlers. Uh, they might be a little small, but all I had to do is cut the wings off, so I went for it. And I am putting glue all down one side of that. And, oh, no, am I out of frame? I hope not. I'm barely in. Look at that. I am taking those flowers, and I'm making sure three of the petals are showing on each of them. And I put glue all down the back of the neck so that I could just run these along there and put them on and that's the main going down i didn't know how far to go down so i just kept going but uh yeah i thought get a nice long mane here and i had one more over there so i grabbed it and when i put all these on there I, it hits me i didn't save any for the spots so i'm gonna have to punch a few more flowers out on here but, yeah, this is going to my niece. She's 35 years old, and she has shingles. Oh, and if any of you ever had them before, I've never had them, but I've heard they're horrible. Her eye was even closed, swollen shut. It was so bad. And they were worried about they didn't get rid of the infection. She might lose sight in that eye. But it went down. The antibiotics and stuff worked, so it did go down. So she is doing better. But I need to send her a card. The poor thing, they were had their house up for sale. And they signed papers on another one. And here she's got to move and everything and by the 18th of this month. And try to get over shingles too. And got two little bitty kids. So my sister's going to go out there and help her out. Uh, yeah. I, I I hope she likes the card. I think she will. She loves giraffes. In case you haven't guessed it, it is a giraffe. But, uh, yeah, I will be showing you the first one. And it looks a little bit different. Not much because I didn't leave all the funny stuff that was way too big on there. I should have showed you all them because uh, the eyes was, like, huge. They wouldn't fit on the head part. <laughs> they were so big. I, I thought of a crocodile or alligator. I'm not sure which one where the eyes look up above the water. I thought of that. But 
I might do that on another layout. See, see what I come up with with an alligator. And I put a beauty mark there, so I've decided this is a girl. And I'm putting that on there and deciding how much I want to cut off on the neck. And that is, is um, Anna Griffin embossed folder is what I used on that. And it's a floral. And I thought about making him, her some leaves to eat. And uh, I could just emboss a folder to go in the background. And I'm getting ready to put my get well on here now. And I did go on Pinterest. And I put draft get well cards to see if there was anything that was like a pun or anything. Because I sure couldn't think of anything to go with a giraffe. And I did see a giraffe similar to this. Somebody named Alex, I think, did it some way or another. Anyway, out on there. And uh, I think it, uh, uh, my giraffes look more like hers probably than anybody's. But my computer is in this room. And my scrappy area is in the other. So I didn't come back and look it up. I could now, but oh well, it's done. <laughs> but anyway, somebody named Alex has a really cute one on Pinterest. It, and it might be a guy. I don't know. It might instead of a girl. It might be because it's Alex. But you know, I automatically thought it was a girl. But do you all do that? Go on Pinterest and look at hundreds and hundreds of something, and not say nothing. But look at hundreds and hundreds and uh, yeah, I like to do that. I was looking for a pun though, but there was all kinds of pictures to go with those puns. But I wasn't planning on making the card right then, so I didn't save anything. I was just thinking, what kind of card can I make? I could get a nice pun to go with your giraffe and do it. But since I didn't find a pun, I was thinking of other things. <laughs> and then I came right back to the giraffe. And see my finger? I'm still talking. <laughs> yeah. But did you notice the muzzle on the other one was a little bit bigger than this one? Yeah, I went down a size. I went down a bunch of sizes on some of them. And if I'd made the giraffe the size to fit the first eyeballs, <laughs> it wouldn't have fit on the card. Seriously. But yeah, my card's done, and it's going to my niece. And be sure to check out the other gals that are doing Punched Out Thursday. It's Krista, Kathy, and Dorothy today, because this is her week to do it. And so you'll get lots of inspiration on using your punches. And have fun with them. I always have fun with them. But thank you all so much for watching. And if you leave a comment below, I'll get back with you. If you like the video and hit a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe. And if you make a card with a giraffe, let me know. I'd like to see it. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a happy, scrappy week. Bye.